Hi everybody, I come with a new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can make an aggressive animal that are on player. You can modify it with any other animal and human AI. When animals see and hear from our player, they start to attack and kill our player. Like, like that. The wolf hear our uh, player footstep sound and he start to attack. Now try a second time. Yes. <laughs> Wolf hear our uh, player footstep sound and start to attack. So let's change our wolf position so we can try other animal. Uh, I try lion this time. I go behind because so lion can yes he see and attack and kill our player. So try it another time. Yes, the lion hear our player footstep sound and it start to attack. So let's start our work. If anybody like my channel, then please like and share it. If anybody like my channel content, then please subscribe and press the bell button. If you press the bell button, then you will get update when I upload any video. You can also press subscribe button from my video bottom left side. Before we start work, please import some sound. I add the download link on description. Download this sound. We need this sound for make this tutorial. There is uh, some scream sound and wolf aggressive sound. Save it. Now make a sound cue. Name whatever you like. open it import all the sound and uh, randomize it so each time we play we hear different uh, random sound save it I name it death scream. All right, now make a new folder. Name whatever you like. I name it attack animal. Now go to NPC animal and copy the master class. We need a master attack animal. Name it whatever you like. I name it master attack. Open the master attack. We need some variable here. We don't need this. Just delete this. It's previous uh, blueprint. So select pawn sensing. Make on C pawn sensing. Copy third person character. Make a custom event. Name it attack on player and add it with pawn sense in here and see and hear noise and make a uh, do once node because we want to attack one time add it on pawn here save it compile now we need our uh, third person uh, character reference so get player character class to third person character and make a variable we need the third person character reference so get third person character add ai move to and attach third person character as target actor and pawn is self yes on success add uh, play a, any montage we want to play a montage and add it with any montage Compile and save. 
go to our third person character we need to add some variable here uh, make a death variable it will be boolean so go to master attack again and set death when the player attack us our third person character will die compile and save create two child blueprint one is lion another one is wolf another now add lion mesh and lion nmbp same we do with wolf add mesh add nmbp now we need to add our anim montage attack anim montage let's find it animation jump bite yes that will work add a sound here add our wolf aggressive sound save create any montage save all go to lion yes lion attack that's will work same we do with that to add sound lion roar sound create any montage save all go to lion select any montage and add the montage we create now we do same with the wolf add the any montage we create this montage will play when uh, our animal attack now create a folder name widget blueprint we need a death widget create a widget death name whatever you like open it search emails name it background uh, make it point seven tint and make the color little uh, black or dark compile and save search text you die make it in the middle you can give the value what I give increase the size our text is a little black so we'll make it white yes that's will fine add two button make it in the middle name it add a text make it size into context so our uh, button forward the text increase the size
make it little upper you can give my value now duplicate it and name it quit quit them make it little down so it adjust now select text and create button on click so when we click play it will open our level like it restarting and quit them a specific player on player uh, compile and save or work done save all uh, copy the name level name and paste it here we want to restart from here compile and save now select our third person character add a camera here this camera will show when show when our uh, character die make it little further so we can see our character from distance you can give my value yes here is our camera compile and save now add a sequence add a branch our death is the condition death variable if it's true then it will play once because we are in event tick follow camera will be disable and our camera will be active duplicate it and tick the new active here we will play a sound a scream sound death scream our character movement and we will disable the movement if we die we cannot move we will add a delay like 0.5 seconds our mesh like simulate all bodies will be true set all bodies simulate physics then we add capsule component and we will give it no collision set collision enable no collision we create a widget death widget which we created few times ago at viewport our work is done now we need to add one more thing get player controller set show cursor when we die our mask cursor will show now compile and save our work is done here oh, one more thing disable your camera auto activation otherwise it will show fast and increase the movement i give it 1000 otherwise your animal will walk make sure you have nub mesh so our uh, animal can move save all now we put our lion and wolf lion have two mesh lion and lioness but one is skeleton so we just change the mesh make it lioness yes give it little down ok now test our animal we go from behind and it will attack us yes it worked 
play again if we click yes we will it will restart we go to our lion yes the lion here and kill us now we check our wolf can see us we go from behind when wolf see us he will come and attack all our code are working so that's it for today i hope you like it bye